governors continue their plea to the federal government for more testing supplies. We're hearing from a local family who had to navigate through stipulations to get a coronavirus test, all while facing the stress of caring for a sick child. Molly O'Brien has more. The Massachusetts Department of Health State Laboratory can test up to 400 COVID-19 cases per day. But the parents of a very sick little girl say they were shocked to learn a New Bedford hospital didn't have the resources to rule out the coronavirus. Not that one, not the COVID-19 one, um, but she does fit the criteria. The O'Leary's ended up in St. Luke's emergency room after their daughter Kennedy developed cold-like symptoms of fever and shallow breathing. And since she did come back positive for a rhinovirus, that they were going to hold off on testing her further for the COVID-19, um, which was good and, and bad in the same way because there's still that very small chance. James, a producer at Eyewitness News, says the medical staff diagnosed Kennedy with rhinovirus. Even though they held off on a coronavirus test, James says he was surprised St. Luke's didn't have the ability to process a COVID-19 test in-house. It's not a level playing field necessarily between, you know, medical facilities. If, if uh, you know, a hospital like St. Luke's in a major city in Massachusetts doesn't have the capability to do this, this test in-house and have the results in-house, you know, what, what are smaller hospitals in Massachusetts or across the country up against right now? It's, it's, it's alarming. Transferred to Hasbro, the O'Leary say Kennedy was treated there for pneumonia and tested negative for COVID-19. On Thursday, Governor Baker said we should see an increase in Bay State testing capabilities soon. In East Providence, I'm Molly O'Brien, Eyewitness News.